Hey everyone, Cashew Paul here. We're in Bardstown, Kentucky at the Oscar Getz Museum of Whiskey History. It's a great museum. I haven't been here in a while, so come along and let's see how it looks. The story starts here. And here are the Getz. This is the museum that was named after. Not anymore. And here are some of the great artifacts. This place has great architecture and it really adds the ambiance with the old music playing from the era. And we can't talk about bourbon without mentioning stills and prohibition. nice hat. This museum looked great years ago when I was here and it looks even better after its renovation. They have such a great collection of vintage bottles. Here's an advertisement from the 1950s. And these are some original clothes made between 1917 and 1927. It says the dance floors of the Roaring Twenties took on a fevered energy powered by the music of the era, jazz. Structured ballroom dance steps had become the entertainment of grandparents and the young and fashionable were throwing themselves into the Charleston, the Black Bottom, and the Lindy Hop. Wild and carefree, these dances reflected the generation's rebellion, coupled with illegal booze, prohibition era nightclubs, for the home of this new dance craze. Great picture. We can't discuss prohibition without George Remus. Instead of reading you the sign about George Remus, I have a couple things planned in the future for our vlogs. Here are more bottles from the 20s and 30s. Another notable from the Prohibition era was Al Capone. And of course his nemesis, Elliot Ness. Nice hat. Oh, check this out. Authorized by permit to fill prescriptions under National Prohibition Act. And here's an example of a prescription for medicinal whiskey that was issued during the 20s.
This is a fantastic museum. Here's a great vintage photo. This is pretty cool. And here are some medicinal whiskeys bottled during prohibition, available only by prescription. And here is the Wicked Witch of Bourbon County, Cary Nation. Not a nice hat. And this is their Cary Nation exhibit. And here's a brooch that was sold to help fund Cary Nation's cause. And yes, that's a real diamond. And here are some advertisements from the era. And this is a great find, a moonshine still that was discovered near Mount Vernon, Virginia, while being used by descendants of the servants of the Washington family. And here's a shot of the whole still. This museum has so much to see that you could come here more than once and still not see everything. No problem. And here are some photos of federal authorities confiscating stills during the era. This is a great museum. Well, I hope you like the museum. Like I said, I haven't seen it in a while, and it was interesting to see what changes they made during renovation. If you like this video, please click on the subscribe button down below. Also, click on the little bell that will notify you when I have new material coming out. I also have links to my Patreon page. So until next time, this is Cashew, signing off.